What is a database? Here we have Caitlin. She's an avid bike rider and has just bought herself a racing bike from the outdoors company. It's registered under her name as Caitlin Shepherd, and they have all her details like her name, her surname and her ID number on a table in their system. Two years later, Caitlin gets married and her new hubby decides to buy her a mountain bike in her name as a gift. The outdoors company now have the details of a Caitlin Lorimer in their table on their system. Now, the outdoors company decides to send out promotional deals, upcoming bike events and specials to all their clients, but their information is scattered. What they need is a database. A database is a systematic collection of data. The purpose of a database is to store data, provide a mechanism for querying, creating, modifying and deleting data, and provide an organizational structure. Databases also store information and relationships that are more complicated than a simple list. Now, let's take a look at relational databases. A relational database is a database management system. This form of database management defines database relationships in the form of tables. Each informational theme or business concept is stored in its own table, like customer table, salesperson table, or sales manager table. These tables are linked together using matched pairs of data values. Relational databases are designed to address many of the information complexity issues that arise in business by minimizing data redundancy, preserving complex topic relationships, and allowing for partial data values. Microsoft SQL Server is one of the more popular relational database management systems. So the outdoors company now has two tables for Caitlin, one with her personal details like her maiden name or her married name, and the second listing the two bikes that she bought. These can often be displayed in the sales movement table in the CISPR database. Putting the information onto one table will help them keep track of Caitlin's records. So by using a relational database, the outdoors company is able to stop multiple Caitlins from being created, as well as know which bikes Caitlin has purchased from them. But what is SQL? Structured Query Language, or SQL, is the standard language for dealing with relational databases. SQL can be used to insert, search, update, or delete database records. It also helps in optimizing and maintaining databases. So what have we learned? A database is a systematic collection of data. It stores data and provides a more complicated organizational structure. Microsoft SQL Server is one of the more popular relational database management systems. And SQL is the standard language for dealing with relational databases.